Hey guys, okay, so it's the end of the uh, maple syrup season for us and I'm just getting ready to, or I am in the process of cleaning and storing this RO um, water remover filter membrane machine. There's another video on uh, sort of how this is put together, what it does and all that, but this video is strictly going to be uh, cleaning what chemicals you need to use, how to store the membrane uh, and just sort of shut down at the end of the season. So. Uh, what I have here is just a small tank. Uh, this tank has 10 gallons in it of, uh, of RO water. So I start, store the RO water in this uh, uh, 200 gallon-ish tote uh, throughout the season. So if I need water for cleaning or flushing the membranes, it's right there for me. So anyway, I put uh, 10 gallons of the RO water into this tote. And I have this little uh, stock tank or sort of feeding tank heater right here, got an Amazon and I heat the water up. So I just basically get it to sort of lukewarm. Uh, I don't know the exact temperature, but you just want to warm up the water so that the uh, sodium hydroxide that we're going to use here dissolves in it. Uh, so in that 10 gallons of water, warm water, then uh, I put in half a cup of this sodium hydroxide. Uh, so I can't remember where I got this. I think you can get it on Amazon. Uh, however, this might've been from a food uh, company here in Canada. But anyway, sodium hydroxide, this is what you need. Uh, so mix half of a cup of that to 10 gallons of water. Uh, that stuff is highly corrosive. It's like drain cleaner. So uh, goggles and nitrile gloves uh, would be a must for sure, just in case you spill any. And just use all plastic or as much as you can plastic equipment because it is corrosive. So what I then have is I have the line feeding my low pressure pump right here. So it comes through and it feeds the low pressure pump. Uh, and it's basically set up just like I'm processing a batch of maple sap. Uh, however, this is the cleaning process. So it feeds the, the low pressure pump. The permeate line that comes out of the top here that would normally be, uh, would be pure water is going into the top of that same tank. And so is the bypass uh, line here. It goes into the top of the tank. So at the end of the day, all we're doing is we're just circulating that solution through the machine. And so I'm on the second cycle here, but basically the cycle, we do three cycles. So I turn on the low pressure pump. I'll do it here in a second. Turn on the low pressure pump, make sure there's pressure, turn on the high pressure pump. I open my gate valve completely so that there's as little pressure as possible pushing through the membrane. You'll still get a little bit of permeate coming through. That's fine, you're just flushing it through. Um, so run it on for 10 minutes, uh, off for 10 minutes so it can sit in the, in the membrane there and soak. Uh, on 10, off 10, on 10, off 10. And then uh, probably not gonna show a video of that because this is pretty simple, but basically once I've done that, I'm gonna disconnect that hose. I'm gonna put the hose onto my permeate water tank here, which is my pure water. And I'm gonna flush the system for, well, I'm gonna run 100 gallons of permeate water through the whole system. And that will pretty much be the cleaning of the membrane. Uh, so I'll actually turn that on right now to show you the process. It's just like, like I said, doing a, pro a, batch, a processing a batch of sap. So we're gonna turn on, on our low pressure pump. And you can see it pressurizes there to about just over 40. And you can see the water running in there. And then I'll turn on the high pressure pump and you'll see this gauge goes up a little bit just because there is a little bit of back pressure even though this valve is totally open. And that's just circulating through. Oh, and one thing I should mention, this is a, a brand new filter I put in uh, just to make sure there's no sugar or anything on it. So just use a new filter, they're super cheap. Um, and then storage of the membrane. So the membrane is in this housing. Uh, so what you do, or the easiest way to do it, I got a piece of PVC pipe here. I cut the piece of PVC pipe 44 inches long. Then I glued on an end cap down there and a threaded uh, clean out on the end here. So that'll just have a screw on cap. And you're gonna store the membrane in a solution of sodium metabisulfate, which sodium metabisulfate is um, like it's used, like so for example, if you're making wine and you're using one of those glass carboys, um, the little bubbler in the top contains a liquid form of sodium metabisulfate. So just a preservative. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix a quarter cup of sodium metabisulfate uh, with two gallons of just fresh water. RO water would be, you know, preferable. Uh, just for ease of measurement, if you measure 39 inches from the bottom of this tube up, that's two gallons of water. 
dump in your quarter cup of sodium metabisulfate, swish it around. You probably dump it into a bucket beforehand uh, just so it makes less of a mess when you drop the membrane down in here. But anyway, drop the membrane down into the tube. Uh, make sure it's filled right to the top. So basically the membrane is, is moist completely all the way through. It's totally submerged in the liquid. Throw your cap on and store it like in your basement, someplace nice and cool. Um, and obviously where it can't freeze. And that's all you gotta do uh, until next season. And then next season, take your membrane out, uh, put it back into the RO membrane housing and flush. Uh, if you have RO water for whatever reason, that'd be good. But as long as you have fresh water, just flush it through. Or you can flush through the first, let's say 25 gallons or so of sap. I know for some producers that might be a lot of sap, but I mean, water or sap, flush it through the membrane just to clean out any of the sodium metabisulfate that might be in the membrane. And then you're back to uh, taking water off of your sap again. Um, so hopefully that helped people out uh, when it comes to flushing, cleaning the system at the end of the year. What I do for the actual unit, I'll just uh, disconnect this garden hose here, this food grade, RV, whatever, garden hose. Um, when I take the membrane out, I actually remove the bottom plug there and I let all the water drain out. I use this uh, weighing pump here for other things around the house and whatever throughout the year, all water. Um, but anyway, I take that off. That's why it's got the, the garden hose fittings. I take that off, let that drain out. Um, just basically, just keep the whole thing, you know, drained out, take the filter off, dry out the, the housing, put it back on without the filter on it and you're good to go. So if you guys got any questions about any, you know, details on things or whatever, just uh, leave them in the description. But Thank you for watching.